Now, when we're asking a question like what makes these sentences true or false, we're really asking a question that's looking for a definition for the answer or a set of conditions. That is, the question is really under what conditions is the se are these sentences or is a sentence true? Now, what I think the answer is captured in the following principle, something known as the correspondence theory of true. And it's stated simply it's what's sitting in front of us. A declarative sentence is true just in case it corresponds to the facts as they actually are. That is, if a declarative sentence is false just in case it fails to correspond to the facts as they are. So what, what makes something true or false is whether it correctly describes the way the world actually is. Now this seems like a pretty trivial kind of truth, kind of definition. It's like, yeah, I know that. It's what makes a stat sentence true, what makes it true that Barack Obama is right now President of the United States is that the man, Barack Obama, you know, holds the office of President of the United States. But I want to just consider an objection that's raised to the correspondence theory of truth. And it's something that's come up you know, in recent times. Uh, but I think it's worth looking at this just to get, to get clear on something. Because consider the example of you know, sentence number 10, the earth is flat. Now, some people thinking about it as well, gee, maybe in ancient Greece, people believed that the earth was flat. It was kind of a dish shape. But today, for us, it's false. So, it, the earth was flat back in those days, because that's what the Greeks thought. But today, since we all think that it's not, it's some kind of sphere, it's false for us. Now, is that a good objection? I don't think so. And this doesn't mean that we're somehow superior, we're smart, and the ancient Greeks are stupid. And in fact, you may not be aware of this, but there is a whole group of people who are, I, I think they're sometimes referred to as the Flat Earth Society, who are around today, who actually believe that the Earth is flat. And they have all kinds of explanations to explain what's going on. But the issue there is that 10 you know, is not both true or false, or true for some people, false for some people. Truth isn't relative to what people think. People can be right about certain sentences, wrong about certain sentences, but what makes the sentences correct is the way the world is. And there are many things that we all believe today that look like they, you know, we have, and in fact we have some, might have very good reason for believing in, in the same way the Greeks, you know, in the old days had some reason for thinking the earth was kind of flat, or if you like uh, maybe dish shaped, a soup bowl shaped a little bit, or a reverse soup bowl. You know, that made sense. But this is not literally true. And today, people think, you know, because they're trying to be tolerant, they don't want to say that what somebody else believes is wrong. So to be tolerant, we have to say, you know, that truth is relative. But literally, it's wrong. I'm not telling you that you have to go and hit somebody in the face when they say something is wrong and not tolerate and, not, and tell them, you know, you're not going to talk to them until they believe what you believe. I'm not suggesting being intolerant. But literally, it is not correct that 
the same sentence, the same statement is either is neither true nor false or true for some groups, false for some other groups.